So you clicked on this video because you want to start streaming and you want to start streaming now. There is so much more information besides this video. And even with this one video, you may get a little overwhelmed. So let me start you off with the bare bones. And then in other videos, we can go through some more technical things. And we're going to try to do it under 10 minutes. Let's jump in. Now, first and foremost, there are some things that you are going to need, and that is whether or not you are going to be streaming with just your computer, if you play games on your computer, but if you play games on console, you are going to need to pick up one of these. And this is an Elgato HD60S. This is a capture card that you need in order to capture the audio, the video that is going through on your console and put it onto your computer. And how to hook it up looks a little something like this. Plug in the HDMI cord into your PS4 or your Xbox, and then you want to plug that into your Elgato HD60 in port. Once that's set, you want to take a second HDMI cord and plug that into the out port on the capture card, and then plug that into the back of your monitor, TV, whatever it is that you're using. The last cord that you're going to be using is the USB cord, which you'll take the USB-C end, plug that into the Elgato, and plug the other end into your PC. And once you're all set, download the software. And now that you've got that hooked up, you're gonna wanna come over to OBS Live. The version of OBS that I use, it's the one that I recommend the most. And it has a lot more tools that are very easy to understand. Download OBS Live. And once you hop on there, this is gonna be blank. You won't see me. Down in this corner is all going to be a black screen, but you will have an option to log into your Twitch right in here. Next thing that you're going to want to do is add the audio input and output. Now your audio output is whatever your headset is that you are using. So if you're using something like a mix amp, then you want to add that as it. After adding your audio output capture, you want to add your audio input capture, which is your microphone. If you ever have any issues with it, if it's too loud or too quiet for your viewers, then you'll be able to adjust it with one of these faders like that. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go over to Twitch. I'll leave a link down to this down in the description as well. I'm sure you already have your Twitch or if you have your YouTube, you need to find your stream key. You copy it and then you bring it over into your OBS. You go to your files, you go to your settings, go to your stream. What's really great about Streamlabs OBS is that you're already able to do this as long as you log in with your Twitch and you connect your account. If you're just using the regular OBS broadcaster, which you didn't get on this video, then you want to go here and and it'll ask you to plug in your stream key. But if you used OBS Live, then you're all good. OBS looks like this. It's not gonna look like this for you off the start, but I'm gonna show you how to do the basics right now. And that is to first go down into your scenes and finally create your very first scene just like this, you're not going to have anything inside of this black box. And that is perfectly fine. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is add a source and you are going to want to add that video capture device, which is your Elgato. Now you have your Elgato set up and that's great. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add your camera and I'm going to add that. And look, you see me here. I'm going to resize this and I'm going to put it over on the side because that's what you're going to be seeing. And this is already how you have your live scene. Now for the PC players, you may not need this Elgato capture card. What instead you do need is you need to either use a game capture or a window capture. Now why I say one or the other is because some games will not show up with the game capture. For instance, Destiny. Destiny 2 will not show up with a game capture. Instead, you would have to use a specific window capture in order to capture that specific game. If you're playing games like Fortnite or if you're playing games like Among Us or Call of Duty, what you will be using is a game capture. I already have some games listed up here. So for instance, if I wanted to add Among Us, I'll add an existing, I'll have that capture. And what you'll do is you'll open this up 
when you first pop this open it's going to look like this capture any full size screen application instead you want to click capture specific window and then you want to go through your different games that are open so if your game is not open yet you want to make sure that you have it open pop open your obs and you want to select that specific window for that game like we have among us selected and now we can see that but you're going to be using that in your background so you want to bring that to your background so that your camera pops up and you want to make sure that if you have any overlays like we have set up those are going to be showing up too they're not hidden behind everything whatever here is at the bottom of your sources is the specific window that is going to be all the way in the back if you want to hide any of this you can just come over here and hit the hide button but we don't need that obviously if we were using an elgato capture card instead that is something we would need but because we're not we're playing on pc we're just going to be using this window now let's say you do instead you want to play destiny too what you're going to need to do is you're going to add a window capture instead and when it comes up that you want to add whatever game make sure that you have your game open and then you want to select destiny it's going to be popped up in here as long as the game is open that is how you are going to select your destiny 2 game or other games that don't allow third party softwares to capture the image for whatever reason destiny is one of them for instance this is my destiny 2 window so now that i actually have the game open it will be reading that destiny 2 is a window that it is running and you could do a just chatting screen let's make a different scene for that now you don't have anything added in here either so what you're going to do is video capture device let's just put your camera there for right now and let it take up the whole screen down here in this bottom section you're going to have a bunch of different options to do like a move or a fade or a cut transition and these are all great but the move transition is something that is part of a plugin that i'd have to show you how to add i have that already linked in the description from another video go check that out after you have logged into twitch on your obs live i want you to come over to stream elements and i want you to make an account here i'll leave a link down in the description down below you sign into your twitch or your youtube whatever it is that you're using after you've signed in into your stream elements you want to go to your dashboard you want to go to my overlays and this is going to look completely blank to you and that is perfectly fine what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over and create a blank overlay and then what you want to do is you want to add an alert box. There are a lot of different tools that are really, really great that you can go through at any other time, but I'm just showing you the bare bones. You're going to want an alert box for when you get followers or subscribers. And good thing is, is that Stream Elements gives you a preset version of your alert box. It is amazing. So you can just go over here and type alert box and you want to add another source and this source is going to be a browser source and now you're going to add a new browser source and we'll just put first time alert box now when you guys come over to stream elements you have your alert box all set up you want to make sure that you drag this out all the way so that it covers from corner to corner and then you want to save that then you want to bring that over into your first time browser source and make sure that your width and height is matching both in here you can see that up here in the top right hand corner then you want to copy and paste that url link over here press ok and let's just test it there you go beautiful so now you have your alert let's just make sure that you add it to both so did we do it everything under 10 minutes now i'm sure it's going to take you a little bit more time than just 10 minutes to download everything set everything up with the way that you like it if you have any questions jump into our discord server i'm going to leave a link to that down in the description down below as well if you've never used discord make an account jump in there i'll be able to answer any questions you guys have also jump into our live stream i stream every monday wednesday friday and most saturdays i'll leave a link down in the description to that as well you guys can jump in there ask questions or you can leave a comment down below try to give me as much information as you possibly can on what you're struggling with so that i can do my best to help you solve the problems and for you to start streaming and then once you've got all of this information in this video settled you feel confident that you can hit that live button go check out some of our other videos because we've got a lot of neat tips and tricks on how to make the quality of your stream look better sound better go check out some of those i'll leave a link to a few of them that i think that you'll like i'll see you in the next video stay busy either i play with the dumbest people alive
one possibility. Or, or there is just a genius that knows how to play being stupid very well.